Um, so I know that Nora and Stu are like wildly good, so I wouldn't have come up here, but you came up here, and you seem like a normal type guy. Oh, uh, no. Oh, good. The camouflage is still working. Okay, so I figure I can do this. And for Mother's Day, I can do it anyway. my, my mother is still kicking. Her name is Joan. And this is from 1973 in the anti-war demonstration. Um, she was from Vermont. We all from Vermont. And she was the bus captain for the people coming down from Montpelier. And I was with her. I think I slept in the overhead bin because I was about, I think I was 17 years old and did those kind of things. And so we were in Gonzaga High School preparing to go to the demonstration. I don't know, did anyone go to D.C. for demonstrations? Oh, okay, okay. So, um, they're, they're quite amazing, 500,000 people. And there's lots of tear gas. Um, the police didn't appreciate a lot of people demonstrating against the war. Nixon, I think, was watching football that time around. So it was, it was a little tense. Um, and so trying to get out of Gonzaga High School was a little bit difficult. Um, and this talks about Vermonters. Um, which is that Vermonters don't like to be told what to do. So the basically what's happening is that we were trying to catch our bus. The police had said the buses couldn't be anywhere. And so people kept telling her, you gotta get all these people, I think it was like 40 people from Vermont, across the police lines to the outskirts of DC. I mean, they weren't gonna beat us up, but they were gonna not make it easy for us. And she kept saying, no, we gotta stay here because they know where we are. And so people kept yelling at her and saying, you got to get moving. Look, you know, all these people need to get home. And some of the people in there also were upset. So to make a long story short, this is good, right? Um, make a long story short, eventually these two bus drivers, two driving two buses, must have been 80 people, um, come barreling down the street to Gonzaga High School, wherever the hell that is in D.C. And, um, and they made it through. And she says to them, um, how do you get through here? And she said, they say, you're the people who paid us, and we're going to make sure we got to where you were. And we don't care what the police said. And those are the bus drivers from Vermont Transit who were very clear in what their job was. And she stuck to her guns, and that's why I'm not still in D.C. Oh.